going to review the Camila Cabello Havana collection from L'Oreal. I saw on Instagram when the collection was launched and I, I thought the packaging was so cute. I actually went into um, Ulta today to buy some moisturizer for my boyfriend and I saw the collection and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna review it. I bought a pretty good selection of everything that they came out with. It's the cutest packaging ever so let's just get right on into it so i actually just did my brows off camera while i was on the phone with my mom and i'm just gonna get started on the eye makeup first just because i don't want there to be fallout and then just like ruin the whole base situation that i have going on i kind of have an idea of what look i want to go for right now using the dose of colors i love sarayi collection i'm going to take i'm going to take the color loungy place that in my crease Next, I'm actually going to take the color Onana, which is this color right here, and I'm gonna place that all over my lid. This is a super easy color to use. That's such a pretty color. Then taking more of that loungy shade, you can place that in your crease. If you can't get your hands on this palette, Too Faced Peach Palette actually is really, really nice as well, and there are a lot of shades that could work. And then taking the color Wanderlust, I'm going to place that in my outer V, and then also a little bit in the inner corner. And then taking a little bit of my cellar water, I'm going to clean that up right there. We're just gonna leave it like that. We're just doing something a little different right now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the other eye really quick, and I'll be right back. When I see myself at this point, I always am like, really thinking my entire career <laughs> so i'm actually going to take this green color right here this is the color it's hot havana and i'm going to attempt to put that on my lower lash line to get an idea of what it looks like so the green actually isn't as um pigmented as i had hoped it would be but it's workable and i would be honest if it wasn't workable but it's definitely workable so i'm going to place that on my lower lash line right here Oh, that's so pretty. Just for like a pop of color. So I'm actually going to take the flash liner from the collection and it's thick, like your girl is thick with two C's. They describe it as, you know, being able to go from thin to thick and it's pretty black. It's not like the blackest, and I don't know if it's just like mine because I saw other videos from the collection that were, it was blacker, but let's see how it applies. I'm going to do a regular wing. I'm going to say right now that this is actually a lot easier to use than I thought it was going to be. It's not like the easiest thing in the world, but when has winged eyeliner ever been easy? Just stay as close to the lash line as possible. So that is one eye with a wing. It is a pretty classic wing. Um, it's cute or whatever. Just putting on a thin layer of the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I'm going to place my lashes on to my lashes. Okay, now that the lashes and the eyeliner is all touched up, we are going to get started on the fist. So we're actually going to take the Garnier Moisturizer. Um, this is the vegan formula. I'm very excited about this. I initially bought it for my boyfriend because he uh, never puts moisturizer on. So it is paraben-free, dye-free, all of these great things. And I'm trying to get uh, more acquainted with um, drugstore like products so that I can you know review them and not just be recommending like Tatcha which I love but they are expensive not everybody is bougie some people are bougie on a budget and then next I'm actually going to take some of the hangover primer by Too Faced and just you know 
continue to moisturize the skin. I love the way that this color combination looks on the eyes. The green and the peachy gold colors. And I'm actually going to use this in two different ways. I'm going to add it to my foundation at first just to see if that gives like more of like a bronzy like glow to the skin. This is the product right here. As you can see, it's like, you know, a liquid bronzer, which is exactly what it says that it is. It's a sunlit bronzer, so it's a fluid. I got it in medium deep. For me, I'm just going to um, add like a pump and a half of foundation to it and mix it together. And I am pretty sure by looking at the formula, it's just kind of gonna diffuse. It's gonna add more of like a glowy effect. So yeah, it's not making my foundation any darker. It's just giving it more of like a glowy effect. But I probably will add more in like the bronzy areas. And then just to add a little bit more to that, I'm going to take more liquid bronzer. Mm, okay. Okay, look, yeah, that's not, she's not too pigmented, but she does give a glow. So yeah, I really like the way that that looks on my skin. I like that I mixed it in with my foundation and not just used it as a bronzer. As for concealer, I'm just going to use Tarte Maracuja. Now I'm gonna bake underneath my eyes with some of this Peach Perfect setting powder. Okay, and while that is baking, I'm actually going to spray my brush and dip into Hot Havana and redo some of my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna put some L'Oreal Lash Paradise on my lower lash line. And just to do a little bit of a zoom in of the eyes, this green is beautiful. I definitely recommend spraying the brush because it really brings out more of like that gold reflect. So I'm actually gonna take some Hoola bronzer and just go to town. Brush away the excess of this powder. I am going to place a little bit of the Warm Soul Blush by MAC. This is just a great blush. You know, it's just a great blush. We're just going to place that basically all over the face. Lastly, I'm going to put some highlighter and then we're gonna do all the lip colors and we're gonna be good to go. Highlighter in uh, Soulmate because why not? I've been obsessed with this. I believe it's still available online, so I'm just gonna keep using it until it's not available anymore. <laughs> Set the brows so that they're not going rogue. Okay, and then time for the lip colors. I'm very excited. I'm gonna do a zoom in. So I'm gonna line my lips with MAC World Lip Liner for all of these colors. You don't need to line your lips if you don't want to. I personally like to because I feel like it makes my lips look bigger. I liked my lips to look as big as possible. First color that I'm going to use is Desnudo. Let's look how cute this packaging is though. Like, keep it just for that. It comes with such a fat brush, like in comparison to my mouth. Look at this close up, yeah. First, that's the first color. Next, we are going to go in with Lit Up. So this is the color Camila, and this color is really, really pretty. I think this is the one that they use for the campaign. This is another really nice everyday color. And that's the color Camila. This reminds me of a Chanel lip gloss, honestly. And I think that's why I really like it, because I used to have a Chanel lip gloss that looked just like this, and it's Chanel, so it's like expensive. And this is just as cute as Chanel packaging. I'm not gonna lie and say it's cuter, because I love Chanel packaging. I just put more of this, um liner on. And for the color for my final look, I'm going to use Serendipity. And 
and that is serendipity on the lips with some world lip liner and so that is the final look I would recommend anything from this collection I would definitely recommend the lip glosses I think they're all really pretty and cute to throw on your bag and I love the eyeshadows as well so if you like seeing reviews like this of like new product launches and stuff like that I have no issue going out and buying them I love makeup and please join the family and subscribe down below and I hope you guys all have a you know fantastic day yeah. what day is it today is it a Tuesday it's actually August 1st so yesterday was my birthday and I had a great day and thank you for all the birthday wishes for everybody who messaged me on Instagram or commented on my last video so I really appreciate it thank you bye